Seiko's kinetic watches trace their route back to the introduction of the Automatic Generating System AGS, in 1988. This system utilizes an oscillating weight that converts the motion of the wearer's wrist into electricity, which then powers a quartz movement. Seiko had already introduced a solar-powered watch in 1977 and a hand-wound powered quartz watch in 1986. The AGS watches can be considered automatic quartz watches, with mechanical components providing power for quartz accuracy. In 1991, Seiko rebranded AGS watches as kinetic watches in an effort to increase their popularity. A kinetic watch, or more accurately, a kinetic movement, operates on a principle similar to that of automatic movements, but with a different power source. Automatic watches are powered by the wearer's movement, which winds the watch spring. In contrast, kinetic movements convert the wearer's movement into energy that charges a quartz crystal. This energy is then stored in a battery, called a capacitor. Therefore, the main difference between an automatic and kinetic watch lies in how energy generated by the wearer's movement is processed. There is also a difference in the amount of energy that can be stored in automatic and kinetic movements. Automatic watches typically have shorter power reserves, averaging around 50 hours and not exceeding a few days. On the other hand, kinetic movements can store energy for months or even years without movement. However, it is not to say that one is better than the other. Seiko's current watch offerings appear to focus on automatic movements, solar power, and traditional battery-powered watches. However, their kinetic range, which was previously a popular offering, is no longer as prominent. In 1969, Seiko revolutionized the watch industry by introducing the first battery-powered quartz wristwatch. This technology greatly improved accuracy and initially had a high price point, but other manufacturers soon adopted it and prices dropped as production increased. The first analog quartz watch was eventually surpassed by the introduction of fully digital watches in the early 1970s. Today, power-intensive LEDs have been replaced by constantly on LCDs. Seiko has always been interested in finding alternative power sources for their watches, rather than relying solely on batteries that will eventually need to be replaced. In 1976, Citizen released the first solar-powered analog watch, beating Seiko by a year. However, Seiko had also been exploring other options for powering quartz watches. In 1986, Seiko announced the world's first manually winding quartz watch. The watch used a highly geared and oversized crown that spun a magnet pass a coil, inducing a current that charged a small capacitor, eliminating the need for a traditional battery. While this concept had potential for traditional watch enthusiasts who were used to winding manual watches regularly, there were several drawbacks to the 8T23 movement. The crown had to be wound briskly, and the system provided three days of running from about three minutes of winding. Additionally, an overcharge protection circuit kicks in and an LED light located at the 6 o'clock position flashes twice to indicate full charge. These watches, which are still difficult to find today, can provide three days of accurate running after only three minutes of winding. This is a significant achievement as the voltage from the capacitor constantly drops, requiring the micro-stepper motor to operate across a wide voltage range. When the power reaches a critically low level, the second hand starts to advance in two-second increments as an indication that it is time to wind a watch for another three minutes. The manually winding quartz watch was not well received and was discontinued after only one year of production, making it very scarce today. The Seiko Arctura, released in 1997, features the brand's kinetic caliber technology and boasts a unique curved design by designer Jörg Heisek. Offered in both men's and ladies' sizes, the watch was also presented in a range of different styles. This symbolically significant model was designed for the global market and was ahead of its time with its use of the latest materials and technology. 
One downside of these watches is that they will not charge in a mechanical watch winder as these operate at relatively slow speed, not fast enough to induce a usable current. Additionally, the smaller pivot to weight distance requires more torque to get it swinging, which can make for some vigorous shaking if you're trying to charge up a rundown basic kinetic movement. The kinetic movement underwent many upgrades and improvements, including the 1999 Kinetic Auto Relay. This watch stops the hands after 72 hours of inactivity, providing an impressive four years of power reserve due to its sleep state. When it is picked up and worn again, the hands spin back to the correct time and normal function returns. Manual winding was reintroduced to the kinetic movement in 2007 with the high-end Kinetic Direct Drive. This watch combined the rotating mass and ability to top up the charge by winding the crown. It also featured a combined power reserve and generation indicator, which showed how effective the winding was. The title of the perfect blend of mechanical and quartz technology has been passed on to the spring drive movement. The spring drive can still be found in a limited number of high-end Seiko watches but is now more closely associated with Grand Seiko watches.